Hello and welcome back to another video of this Power Auto Meet series. In this video, we will see how to combine multiple seat into a one Excel sheet. So before go ahead, it is request to all of you. If you like the content of these videos, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more video. Go ahead and let's start the video. First of all, I'll show you my Excel sheet. So here you can see I have three Excel sheet, the column name this uh, second sheet this is the third excel sheet so here you can see i have three excel sheet but in the three excel sheet i have same column name so i want these three sheet convert into a one excel sheet okay so let's start so this is my flow first action i'm taking here get file in folder here I'm giving the folder name. This is my folder name. Click on OK. Here you can see the variable produce is a files. Okay. Click on save. Next action I'm taking here launch Excel. Take and drag and drop here. Following document and here I'm taking a this variable. In this square bracket, I'm giving a number as a zero. Click on save. Second action I'm taking here get first free row column. One, take and drag and drop here. Click on save. And here I'm taking read Excel action. Take and drag and drop here. And here you can see I'm taking here this uh, value from a range. First fall, first start column, uh, start row is one. And in this column, I'm taking the variable first free column and give the minus one also. And here I'm giving the number as a one only. Click on save. Next action I'm using here close Excel. Drag and drop here and no need to save. Okay. Again, I'm taking launch Excel action. This is a launch Excel for main Excel. This is the combined Excel basically. I'm changing the name as a main. And here I'm taking right Excel action, take and drag and drop here. And here in the main Excel, I want to write Excel data. And here I'm select this on currently active cell. Click on this. Okay. Next action we are taking here. Get first free column row. You can drag and drop here. And here, Excel instance, I'm giving the main Excel. Okay. Click on save. Next action I'm taking here activate cell. Take and drag and drop here. Now, here you can see uh, Excel instance. So I'm giving the main Excel. And absolutely specific cell is done. And here I'm giving the name as a column A. And for row, I'm using here this one first free row, second. Okay, click on save. Now, here we are using for each loop. They can drag and drop here. Okay. And now, here I'm using files variable and I'm changing the name here this variable like current file okay. next action we have to take here a uh, launch action again take and drag and drop under this for each loop and now this time 
in the following document and here I am using the current file variable okay and here I want to change the uh, this Excel so I am using here like three I am giving the third uh, three because third time we are using launch Excel action that's why okay click on save next action here I am using read Excel you can drag and drop here and here you can see I want to read third Excel and here I'm select all available values from Excel also I am renaming this variable okay, like uh, Excel append data go to advance and here we have to select this uh, column name option okay and we'll save and here next action I'm using here close Excel take and drag and draw here using third Excel I want to close this Excel and click on see next action I'm using here right Excel you can drag and draw here okay in the Excel instance I'm using here main Excel and which value I want to write in this seed I want to uh, Excel append data and here I'm selecting this uh, currently active cell you can see next action I'm using here get first free column row take and drag and drop under this for each loop and this time here you can see variable produce as a first free column third and first free row as a third okay so this time i'm using main excel click on save next action we have to use activate uh, this activate cell you can drag and drop here this time uh, excel instance i'm selecting I'm selecting this main Excel instance and absolutely specific cell column A. Why I'm using A? Because start from A. Okay. Column A. And row here I'm using third first free row. Here you can see this one. First free row 3 I'm using here. Click on save. So almost flow is done, but only we have to save our Excel. You can drag and drop here. So this time I'm selecting this main Excel and save more. I'm using uh, save as document and here extension I'm selecting uh, Excel workbook okay, and give give the path so here you can see I'm um, select the file path click this is my folder but here you can see I have already created a separate folder three Excel here and I don't want to uh, merge Excel here so I already I have created a folder for merge Excel click on this I want here my Excel so I'm giving the name as a merge Excel dot Excel SX okay and open here you can see this is the merge folder under this merge folder I want the file already here but I don't want here I want 
in this folder so i select this folder here okay and name i'm giving the name as a merge excel okay click on save but here you can see we have to take and drag here out of this for each loop this x and we have to use out of the for each loop okay so i'll show you first action i'm using here uh, get file in the folder launch excel and get first free row column for first excel and read excel and close the excel i'm again i'm using launch excel action and write Excel. Again, I'm getting this get first free row column action and activate cell. And after this, I'm using here for each loop launch Excel, read Excel, close Excel, and write Excel. And again, I'm Taking here this uh, get first free column row, here you can see, and in the last action, this one active cell in Excel worksheet and main. And here you can see this is the our main action, this is the save Excel basically. Okay, so let's let's run click click now. run successfully let's you see let's see here you can see this is the column name and this is the our order numbers and this is the address so everything is on the place here you can see customer name order and address Hope you enjoy the video. If you like the content of this video, so please hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more video. I will see you in the next video with new topic on Power Automate. Till then, happy learning.